Welcome to my channel, Pebbles TV, Organic Jamaican Living. We appreciate you and, well, in today's edition, we are going to make tea. Yes, fever grass and lemongrass tea and peppermint tea, organic Jamaican style. So stay tuned, so don't forget to subscribe, like and share. gonna have a normal early morning herbal tea and usually we pop down to Sainsbury's or Tesco's this morning we're going to our local Tesco's our local Sainsbury's our local Waitrose Ta -da! our garden or vineyard or small holding now this here is what we call lemongrass or fever grass aka also known as um, didn't really know the benefits of this. Um, we've been drinking this how many times, babe? Maybe five days a week? Yes. We drink it nearly every day. And usually you go into the shops and um, you buy your tea bags. But um, we planted this maybe about a year ago. The fever grass and when you smell it, it smells beautiful. Um, the health benefits of these are enormous. Absolutely stunning. Um, I did a small research this morning to find out what are the health benefits of lemongrass, fever grass. And I was astonished to find that the man quality organic stuff, health stuff, this has. So all we do is just cut, cut it, cut off the little edges. And um, we'll wash it in a minute, cut it down to manageable sizes so it fits some of the small pot. Um, just for um, a small family of three, just cut it to manageable sizes and bang in the pot. Um, any that we chuck away, okay? Like just been there, got so much of it, and it springs so quickly. We planted maybe four roots, and it's just springed up really amazing. we're going to do is cut enough to boil, wash it, boil it. Um, the rule of thumb is you boil it for approximately 30 minutes in a pot. And what we tend to do is get one more, babe. still quite a lot in there. It's going to be strong. This will serve us for two days. The man here. We generally, oh, it's more potent if you use it for two days only. By the third day, it's not as strong. Oh gosh, yeah. yeah as I was saying, we we mix it with mint, peppermint, which is here, yeah, babe. So, so that'd be that's more than enough for us. peppermint. And same thing, um, put it in the pot. Boil it for about 30. Good old avocado pear tree planted that maybe about a year and a half ago. Um, this is actually um, the least very tree. Bath of it. It is a shampoo. We um, wash our hair with it, our skin with it. We planted this again about a couple of years ago and we've been using it when need to. And obviously, uh, also called single Bible. I think you all know about that. Single Bible bud, many uses, cuts, bruises, burns, etc. And is it tuna baby, is it? Mm -hmm. Again, this has got amazing properties also, but that's for another day. And um, we can actually cut that, peel it, drop it in your normal water, put it in the fridge, let it chill and drink it. Uh, yeah, so here we are now to our uh, peppermint tree. Another beaut, this thing. And again, you just pick maybe, you cut six, seven, eight sprigs. And uh, 
straight in the pot. We'll wash that in a minute. So it's blossoming as well. So we will not cut the blossoming buds and that. We'll we'll leave that to continue blossom and grow. But we'll cut the ones that already mature, like a sprig here. lemongrass slash fever grass um, full of antioxidants and um, the benefits for those of you I mean we drink herbal tea we, we don't drink any other tea every morning herbal tea so babe, we're gonna wash it Daddy. Yep. so yeah we've just um, cut the lemongrass slash fever grass same thing if you do your search google it and the um, the mint, peppermint, Jamaican peppermint. They're beautiful, smell really good. And we're just gonna wash these, just in case there's any little worms, any little insects we don't really wanna be consuming. Um, generally, you can look at the leaves when you're cutting them, just to make sure that they are clean, okay? So I mean, the health benefits of lemongrass, it's actually, I was astonished. This morning, I did a little research before I come on and um, the health benefits of the, the lemongrass is um, it detoxes the liver, uh, the kidney, and actually the bladder. Amazing, this lemongrass relieves anxiety, it relieves pain, didn't know that. Um, it lowers your cholesterol. It actually um, regulates the high blood pressure cells also, did not know that. Um, also, full of anti anti toxins, antidoxins, whatever you call it, and it um, burns fat and juices fever, it's called cool. fever. Mouthful, but I um, didn't know that, peeps, so here what, that's your little learning lesson for this morning. So what we're gonna do now, we are gonna finish wash this, rinse it, so I'm gonna dash it where? Dash with the dirty water. Actually, I can put it on the peppermint, on the um, scotch bonnet tree, but it saves waste in the water. Oh, cool. Got a little scotch bonnet tree, pepper tree, mess up, one mess up. I may be feeding the yam as well, the yam, yellow yam dessa. See? So give it one more rinse. Obviously, all rainwater, this catchment here, it's all channeled from the roof of the house, it eventually comes down into our catchment. That's what we use here in the country, everything is rainwater. At the minute, we haven't got any uh, pipe water, as they call it, as it were, that comes as far as junction. So we've done our own um, irrigation water system and we've got continuous rainwater. Now nah, sure enough, now nah, blood and water's out, papaya trees. These leaves are something else. Bunch of goodies also, the papaya leaves. So that's for another episode. And actually boil these and drink it. Really, really good, healthy for you. Okay then, so now we're gonna put this on the pot, on the fire. Boil it and drink it. Boil it for about 30 minutes. 